Hello there, you beautiful people! It is I, once again, with another review. This time for the smallest granddaddy out there, the RX78-2 Real Grade uh, Gundam. This is a very, very small but very, very detailed Gundam. It's also my second Real Grade Gundam that I've built so far. I have built the RG God Gundam a couple of weeks ago, check it out if you haven't. This one though, it's so beautiful and so detailed and it took me a lot to build because of many tiny parts. So let's check out the unboxing. Now look at that shiny box, you have a nice cool stand, pose and illustration up front. On the side you have the frame and some small uh, extra parts, nice illustration once again, you have some very cool poses that you can do and this kit is very poseable I have to say. So let's check out what's inside. And up front we have the stickers which I used a couple of them but not all of them because stickers in this day and age it's not gonna do it. So nice quality plastic, we have some yellows, blues, some whites, some blacks. Uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful two-tone white by the way. And we have a nice detailed manual. You will find inside some lore, some poses, all the details of the frames, uh, details of the runners. A really nice and detailed manual, I have to say, and there is some color in it. And you have a complete map of the decal, of the stickers, I mean, there are no water decals. So there you have it. And here's the complete build, panel lined with all the stickers, not all of them, but most of them. And it looks really, really nice, I have to say. The stickers, uh, the outline of the stickers show up a bit, but uh, what can you do? I didn't, ha uh, didn't have any water slides for this kid, so I used all the stickers that comes with it. And up far looks fine. So let's check out some articulation left and right on the feet front and back and look at that three part joint over there you have the front toe, the middle and the heel and everything moves in unison and very freely the front guard moves up and down here you go you can see clearly that back part op opens up and it can close back in. Really nice uh, small detail and smooth uh, articulation there. You have that beautiful knee that bends in three parts, uh, which is really nice. Look how nicely it bends. And all the moving parts as well. You see the knee moving, the thigh moving, really nice, a smooth part, thigh, knee, one big complaint though, the frame is really fragile and I broke the leg over there, so this leg is out of commission, no articulation in this leg, I had to glue it. So the front skirt um, I had to glue also because they were falling all the time. It's a weak glue, you can sti still move the skirt but not too much. Not very strong on the frame there and I had to glue some parts but what can you do? The fist moves in a 360 degrees and the elbow up and down. The shoulder moves a little bit, not too much. The head also, it's really beautiful and moves in a 360 degrees and up and down. It's attached to a bow point. The saber handles also move a little bit. It's a beautiful kit, I really like it. The thrusters move a bit and I also painted the thrusters in titanium. You can see the two-tone of white there. 
Nice. The waist moves up and down and left and right. Really nice organic articulation. I really like that. And here's the rifle. A beautiful rifle uh, with black and white. The scope moves, the ammo moves left and right. A nice, a nice gray and white there. My favorite is the bazooka though. Look how beautiful the bazooka looks with the ammo pack. And that front part moves a little bit front and back. Really nice, I really like the ammo pack. I should have uh, painted a little bit red on the ammo, but it looks awesome. I really like the bazooka. Really beautiful weapon. And here's the core fighter. A nice detailed small uh, core fighter with uh, some nice fins that uh, move a little bit. That front part can extend but it's stuck right now the wings can fold look how beautiful that is and this whole part can go like that and you can use that on the waist of the kit if you want to but i'm not going to do that it's a beautiful beautiful core fighter i have to say it's really small though but it's nice with the deco still it's something and not only that but it also has some tiny landing gears look how cute they look overall nice core fighter now let's take a look at the beautiful real great hand which you can move separately the, th the thumb the index finger and the rest three fingers on the hand they all connected to a bow point so there is some nice articulation there the i didn't expect to have such much articulation in a 144th scale but it's a real great after all and the hand it's a real nice quality you can have real nice poses with it And up next are the beam sabers, some beautiful, really nice top-notch quality from Bandai sabers with the see-through parts, uh, see-through part really shining through the light, and you have some nice white handles with some beautiful detail on it, really long and beautiful. Now look at the size of the beam saber compared to the kit that's laughable how that can tiny little cute fella handle all that beam saber look how big it is how long you can use that on a master grade but i don't think you can use that on this guy look it's bigger than the kid maybe use those two beam sabers on a master grade they're gonna look much much better uh, instead of this poor little a uh, real great fella but they are really nice beam sabers nonetheless and this is a attachment for the stand i think but you don't get uh, any stands and you get also the amuro ray figure i think it's amuro uh, ray at least the figure itself it's really tiny really fragile really thin and it broke on me i didn't really apply much pressure but it broke nonetheless so be really really careful with your version of the kit maybe i was just unlucky and this is all you get with the kit now look at the size of the real grade compared to my pg unleashed my perfect great granddaddy look how small <laughs> look how tiny it is oh my god and look at the how tiny it is compared to the master grade zeta i mean this is a real miniature gundam it's really really tiny but still really detailed he here is without all the weapons in the extras simple 
but beautiful. And here's with the complete kit, with the shield, with the bazooka, with the backpack. What a beautiful man this is. With beautiful color separation, with all the stickers, nice, nice poses, nice, nice articulation in general. I really like this kid. So yeah, this is it. Thank you for watching. Next week, we have a third party kit. It's something that I never done before. So stay tuned for my next video. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want. And see you next time. Bye.